Paul has managed to do the one thing everyone believed was impossible, unite all Spider-Man fans into absolutely detesting his existence. Let's look into what's actually wrong with him. It all ties back to his relationship with Mary Jane, and how he's depicted as her perfect one true love. That is probably the depth the writer and editorial actually thought up about Paul, because everything else screams they made this up as they went along. Don't believe me? Me? In Amazing Spider-Man issue 7 for volume 6, we get a flashback of Paul hitting Peter. Then in issue 25, it's Peter hitting Paul. Then in issue 26, with the full context, it's Paul hitting Peter. Great continuity comic, because they are wearing different things between these two issues as well. I know that's nitpicky, but it did bother me, so I decided to point it out. Apparently, they realized this continuity error in issue 26, literally an error they really should have caught in issue 25, by saying, oh, well Peter hit Paul and that happened in a completely different conversation. Seriously, this comic can't make up its mind over how to handle Paul as anything other than a plot device because it has, oh, Paul was never born on Earth 616. And apparently in issue 3, he had money to toss at Peter's medical expenses. Huh? I know the Marvel Universe has expedient paperwork, but this is ridiculous. Paul is whatever the writers want him to be, and currently they want him to be Mary Jane's perfect one true love without much in the way of development and depth. Literally their kids, Owen and Rami, I'm sorry, Owen and Stephanie, because clearly getting a character with a consistent name in this run is a second priority. Great job introducing characters. Seriously, they eventually said, oh, Rami is just Stephanie's middle name. Seriously? You couldn't get a consistent name for this character? People, you would really think the guy accessory to planetary extinction in another universe would be far more interesting, but nope, this guy is dull as watching wine ferment. Throughout issues 21 to 25, Paul is the one swooping in and fixing the problems. Their narrative treats him like being the hero. Despite these problems being, you know, partially on him, and the narrative keeps treating his actions as, oh, he's just like Peter. It's such a bizarre take for the narrative to go, oh, he feels sad about his actions, except we're never really shown Paul feeling anything like guilt or shame or remorse. Really, these lines exist to prop up Paul as being just like Peter, which is hard to do considering the world of difference between the two, especially when you take into account character history there's also the fact that Mary Jane stayed with him in a screwed up world all this time because, well, she's a blithering idiot in this run. And if you really want the shippers to be mad, this run made Peter into incest. No, I am not joking. In issue 20, he describes his love for Mary Jane as being like brother, like sister. Uh, Peter... I know your marriage got retconned out of existence, but I did read Omits, and Omits said that the wedding was still on, even though Peter missed his own wedding. Uh, Peter, you wanted to marry someone you consider your sister? Ew. Paul is a microcosm of everything wrong with this iteration of The Amazing Spider-Man. He is basically a malleable blob with no identity. There is no conflict to explore with him. The conflicts that we could explore with him, that being his guilt of destroying his planet, are not even played up for the slightest. It's just, oh, this happened, and now it's over there in the past, and over there doesn't need to affect anything else, despite the fact that over there has been affecting everything else for this entire run. There is no storyline with this guy. He doesn't even go to counseling over his supposed guilt for what he's done. It's an informed attribute at best. You know what he does go to counseling over? His disintegrating kids. Okay, so we are shown counseling once and not shown it for the whole, you know, planetary extinction bit. He is just there to be Mary Jane's lover, and supposedly touted as the best addition to the cast, 
except he does nothing to earn it. There is no sense of progression. He's just there. He just is, just like Darkseid. That's it for this video. Please consider liking, subscribing, tipping my channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.